Hello everyone, in this video, I'll be featuring my recent watch acquisition, the Hermes ASO Squillet. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So this is essentially a series where I shine a spotlight on my personal purchases. I've previously done similar articles for my Chrono Tokyo Toki, my IWC Mark 18 Lopez Prince, the Hoya Monaco, PRX, Tissot PRX, Bear & Ross BR05, Santos Cartier, To The Black Beef Philip Blue, Ming 1709, my Grand Seiko Shunbun, and most recently my Swatch. Uh, moon Swatch, Mission to the Sun. So in this article, I'll showcase you know, this. So when I told you know, my watch enthusiast friends that I was going to buy a mess, I was met with some incredulity. You know, many said, but a mess isn't really a legit watch brand. Well, I disagree. For one, a mess has a 25% stake in voucher. Yes, that voucher, you know, which provides movements for hot horology brands such as Parmigiani, Fure, Richard Mille, and of course, high-end Hermes timepieces. Secondly, and I'll pop up a photo here. The Hermes also, you know, uh, De La Lune is actually one of my absolute grail watches. Something that I'll honestly probably sell my kidney for, especially the Lapis Lazuli Dao variant. Unfortunately, it costs about like $50,000 and there's no way I can afford it at the moment. But I've always appreciated, you know, the whimsical nature of Hermes watches, especially this ASO line, because of its, you know, asymmetrical sort of design. So I began looking at you know, other watches in the ASO line and I chanced upon this, the ASO Squillet, and I fell in love with the design. Not only does it again have that signature asymmetrical case, but you know, it also has a mass trademark. Okay, let me bring this a bit closer to the camera. It also has a mass you know, trademark typography. So um, it's distinctive, it's whimsical, and it's just full of flair. The smoke scattered down, you can see here, it's it's not like a transparent one, it's a smoke one. The smoke skeleton dial is visually very striking as well. I've always been a big fan of the you know, skeletonized dials, but this is the first time I've seen like a smoked rendition. So it gives the watch like a bit of mystery and sophistication, and I find it absolutely you know, very attractive. Critics will then, however, point to this, which is a solitar sort of movement within. So, okay, I guess you can see that. Uh, the Solita movement within this Amaz ASO watch is proof that you know Amaz isn't really a proper watchmaker. Why I prefer like an in-house voucher movement, of course, is it a deal breaker? I don't think so. You no, know, for one, as you can see here, let me bring it a bit closer. Let me see the rotor can turn a bit. There you go. As you can see here, you know the rotor is move, and although I think it's the movement in general is very nicely decorated. The rotor is particularly intricate, and yeah, about well, the entire movement bows you can see per large decoration. Secondly, it keeps you know, the use of an off-the-shelf movement keeps the price relatively affordable, at, le at least as far as you know, a mass watches go. And let's be honest, no one really buys an mass watch for the technical, you know, innovation of movement. People buy an mass watch for the design. But as you can see, I think it's still a very attractive movement, as we can see the balance wheel beating at twelve o'clock. But yes, indeed, the strength of a mess has always been its unimitable design. It's elegant but also casual. Now, I want it with like Uniqlo clothing but also in a suit. And in both situations, the ASO Squillet really felt right at home. It's eminently versatile, making it a great grab and go watch. It's also a strap monster as well. Here you have, here you can see I pair this with a Shao Kodovan strap from Strap Atelier. You remember this strap from some of my previous strap reviews. But you know, if you pair it, of course, with an alligator strap to give you a more formal look, or even like a mess, of course, like a mess of like a uh, calf leather strap for a more sleek look. I think it pairs with a great variety of straps. Now, up close, I'll bring it a bit closer to the camera. Up close, you know, the detail really shines. So, you notice how the numerals actually unfilled, right? But merely outlined in white. The same goes for the minute track which consists of miniature dots outlined in white with slightly larger dots at 5 minute intervals. The slender and you know, leaf hands really add to the elegance of the timepiece, while the perlarging of the movement is obvious even through the smoke now. And as the icing on the cake, you know you can see the beating balance wheel at 12 o'clock. So yeah, you know, I really find it mesmerizing. I found myself staring at this watch for like seconds on end. It's really a very handsome watch. It reinforces my love. For scatternized watches, and I always wonder, you know, why it took me so long to add one to my personal collection. So this is actually my first skeleton watch in my watch collection. I'm very excited. 
Okay, let me now put this on the wrist and show you guys how it wears. Alright, 3, 2, 1. You can see you know, it wears very nicely on my uh, 6.5, 7 inch wrist. So yeah, when I first started out on my watch collecting journey, I have to admit I was a bit of a watch knock. I will look for quality like in-house movement, brand heritage, resale value and things like that. As time passed, you know, I found that I simply bought what I actually like instead of what looks good on paper, what you know, YouTubers or watch journalists are championing. In fact, I realized I developed a liking for unpopular watches, so to speak. Sure, a Rolex Samarina takes all the boxes, but every Tom, Dick and Harry has one. Now, I'm not saying that the Hermes are so screwed that it's a better watch than a Rolex Sub, but it's certainly something different. And sometimes that makes all the difference. After all, who wants to wear something that everybody else has? Okay, so that rounds up this little hands-on video on the Hermes Asos Squillet. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Do comment down below what you think of this Hermes watch. Will you buy an Hermes watch? I'm very interested to find out. As always, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Share the video around if you like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao!